today I was lucky enough to hit with the bold number 167, Liam Brody. Last week in the video where I hit with Jack Draper, I told you guys that I had another hit lined up. Now Liam made the round of 32 at Wimbledon this year, beating Diego Schwartzman, the world number 15 in the second round, and I was there and recorded this. Yeah. Earlier on in the year, Liam also qualified for the Australian Open, losing to Nick Kyrgios in an exciting match where Nick Kyrgios whipped out the underarm serve, which I'm sure you guys will remember. Now in this session, we paid some points out of the hand this time, so it was good to compete against a player of such a high caliber. And before we get into it, it would really mean a lot if you just click the subscribe button to help create more future videos and to support the channel. As you can see here, Liam was practicing with his coach. He told me that he was going out to Dubai for off-season training. I think this week or next week when you're watching this video. So that should be nice and cool. And it gives you a glimpse of what the top players on the tour are doing in the cold winter months when they live in the UK. To begin the session, me and Liam were just hitting kind of cross-court forehands and backhands, a bit like I did with Jack. Liam's obviously a lefty, similarly to Jack. So for me, it was trying to get some good rhythm on the ball. The ball was coming in a slightly different way than when I was playing against righties. Of course, just finding some rhythm. I think he was just coming back from an ab strain injury or an ab tear injury. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think one or two months ago. I think at the beginning of the session, he got the news that he was going to travel into the Australian Open, which should be, should be loads of fun. We then took a break and headed straight into points. First to 10, feet cross, hit cross, and then the point is open. My main aim was just to kind of hustle with Liam. I haven't really played against him before. I've watched him play plenty of times. I think he, he's really good at maneuvering the ball um, and really moving the ball around the court, um, which I noticed from very early on. He doesn't hit the, sa hit the ball with the same kind of tenacity um, as a Draper maybe, but what he does make up for is the kind of the precision on the ball striking. He doesn't waste a lot of energy on the court. Sometimes maybe approaching with a bit too um, a bit too casually. Um, I think he, he, he knew that um, he was maybe a little bit better than I was. Um, but again, a great shot there up the line. So he could take it a little bit easier. Um, but again, my aim was just to kind of stick with him, force some errors, put a little bit of pressure on him. Um, there's always a little bit of pressure when you're, you're the favorite. Um, And again at 7 all, um, I was getting a little bit nervous. I thought I may have a chance here, trying to stay on the defense, just missing that passing shot wide. Going down 8 7 again here. You know, trying to keep the backhand as deep as possible and go deep on the forehand on the defensive side. And he was able to again maneuver me quite well, use the angles very well, try to switch up the line, just traveled slightly long there. And again here on that cross court battle, trying to go with the slice low, Liam whips it up the line. Again, I'm on the defense. Could have done slightly more with that one. He just pushes that into the net. Feeds it out cross. I go back cross. Liam goes through the middle. Again, trying to switch it up onto his backhand. I was really liking my slice during this session, so mixing it up with a slice. And he just slices that wide. I was going to play on, but he just called it wide. So then it was 10-0. Uh, Liam won the next point. Gave himself a chance to win this first set. Again, I didn't have much expectations, but it was fun competing against a player of Liam's caliber. Again, they're just mistiming that ball up the line. We did play a second set. I'll let you watch and I'll let you enjoy. Can we just say that that was an unbelievable backhand though? So flat. One more thing I just want to say. It doesn't really speak to the fact of how hard and how precise the balls are being hit from this angle. From above, it always makes it look a little bit slower. Not as, you know, you're not able to gauge the spin as much. I'd love to have a session where the camera is actually from the court level view during the practice so you can really see the ball moving in the air, the change in heights, the change in spins. Um, that should be something definitely we're going to aim for in some of the next sessions. Um, but for now, keep it like this.
and Liam beating me with a cross court angle. We then had a sit down before hitting some volleys and serves and Liam had one or two tips to give me um, about his game and the game in general. Really? Then we warmed up some volleys, just going up and down the middle, um, just putting the ball away when we wanted to. This was basically just to kind of finish off the session like an extended match warm up. We then moved on to serves. My aim here was to focus on my return, try and practice my return and not just bunt the balls back into the court. I was just going to hit returns in this session. Liam would hit the serve and maybe play a plus one ball if I, you know, hit it a bit shorter um, just to get that rhythm of, you know, a match situation. He was very accurate on his down the tee serves. Obviously, being a lefty, that swinger is going to be one of his most important serves to try and hit, especially to, to righties and their, you know, their backhand side. Curling away from them is a very difficult shot to play. He also hit some wide serves, again, working on my forehand, trying to be aggressive, step in. Obviously, when you're practicing, you want to stay nice and loose on the returns and, you know, really focus on letting that racket head play freely, getting lots of acceleration on the ball um, because in matches you can kind of tighten up quite easily. And again, Liam hitting some second serves here and that's exactly what I was trying to do. Step in, you can see me there, a meter inside the baseline, trying to take it nice and early. Um, and again, most of the players that, you know, you'll meet, I think 70%, 80% will be right-handed. So again, working on trying to go up to the backhand of the player. And again here, Liam putting his racket over his face because he thought I was going to go straight at him, but I couldn't do that. I tried to play it off with a trick shot, but you know, maybe in hindsight I should have gone at him. No, no, I'm joking. That would have been too mean. Um, again, there, going up the tee, trying to take it early. That was a nice return from me. Then switching to the other side. Of course, I had to you know, be aware of my position. Liam was telling me where he was serving, but I still wanted to make sure that I was kind of making it a little bit realistic. Um, you know, as you can see me here, kind of split stepping on the baseline, trying to take it nice and early move forwards, let the momentum carry me forwards. Um, but again, sometimes uh, the serve kind of getting away from me a little bit on these fast indoor courts. The wide serve from Liam was probably the toughest out of all four to to, to return in terms of the first serve positioning because it's you know wide backhand moving away from me. I've only got kind of angle cross and then he can kind of take it up the line. The other, only other option I've got is uh, maybe through the middle, hard and deep, um, which is always... Um, a tough shot to play nonetheless and there pretty much that is you know my other choice kind of going as deep as possible into the court um, but again Liam just showing how much time he's got on the ball even when I'm pr pretty much returning as as best I can and on that note it was the end of the session we did end up taking some pictures and hopefully I'll get to hit with Liam again maybe next year and um, maybe play some points with serve to, to test where my level's at against such a high caliber player. That would be awesome. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.